Hello, dear students. My name is Shah Nawaz Ahmed, and I am your tutor of uh, ACCA paper TX. So first of all, let me just introduce uh, myself. Uh, this is a brief uh, uh, tutor profile. Uh, as I told you, my name is Shah Nawaz Ahmed, and I'm an ACCA affiliate. Plus, I have uh, completed my master's in economics and finance and having an advanced diploma in management accounting uh, from SEMA UK, as well as I'm a SEMA finalist too. As far as, as, far as uh, the teaching experience is concerned, I'm teaching for the last 14 years of my career and teaching ACCA subjects as well as SEMA subjects, plus other pro professional qualification papers. I'm currently associated with uh, a Platinum Status College in Pakistan, as well as I'm a faculty member of online lecturers for distance learning. And there I teach paper taxation and advanced taxation. I also teach uh, financial management and financial reporting papers. Now let's move to the introduction of uh, this paper that is uh, taxation. So when we talk about the relationship between this paper. So there is no prerequisites of this paper available, but this paper is uh, connected with an advanced paper of uh, ATX, which is a optional paper in the professional exams. And this is very really important that uh, once you will move to advanced taxation, you should remember all the stuff that you have learned in your taxation paper. Now, these are the relationship between the different components of the paper. Mainly, this paper comprises of uh, the UK tax system and its administration, which is a very brief part of the syllabus, not much important. And uh, then section B that deals with income tax and national insurance contribution liabilities. This is one of the most important part of the syllabus and uh, then chargeable gain for individual as well as corporation and uh, inheritance tax. And similarly, we have corporation tax liability, again, a very important part of your syllabus. So income tax and corporation tax, this is one of the most important areas that you have to be uh, focused in your mind if you want to pass that paper effectively. Another uh, topic, which is a very small one, that is called the value added tax. Uh, and there is not that much of significance, but uh, there will be uh, questions on all the aspect of the taxation. Uh, that means you, you, you will get a question on IHT, a question on VAT, a question on income tax, corporation tax, as well as the uh, question on tax administration and chargeable gain. So that means all the topics are mostly interrelated and all important topics are there. You can see that the income tax topic, the corporation topics and chargeable gain all associated with the value added tax. Now, as far as the paper structure is concerned, you can see that uh, the paper is a three hour computer based exam obviously uh, it, it's a computer based exam so uh, you you must uh, uh, know the basics of uh, the excel because you have to solve your question on excel as well all the questions are compulsory and there is no choice in the fundamental papers of acca and this particular paper will contain both the numerical aspects and discursive element if I, if I say that uh, the paper is based on majority uh, on computational aspect, so it might not be a wrong uh, argument because the paper is mostly based on the numerical aspects and a little theory uh, might ask in each question. Some questions will adopt a scenario or a case study approach. Uh, that that usually uh, will be related to income tax and corporation tax now there are three sections of this paper section a comprises of uh, 
15 OT questions of two marks each. That means section A will be worth 30 marks. And this will be from the whole of the syllabus. It will be uh, like uh, any question from IHT, income tax, corporation, VAT, any question can be tested here. But as far as section B is concerned, section B is uh, there are three questions in section B and each question worth 10 marks. So the total weight of the section is 30 marks. Now each question will carry five objective type questions. So it is like two mark each and five question comprises of 10 marks. And there will be a, a OT case related to each question. There are likely chances that these three questions will be related to these three topics. That is value added tax, chargeable gain tax and IHT, that is inheritance tax. As far as the CRQ is concerned, so this section C comprises of three questions, three constructive response questions, and that you have to solve in the Excel sheet. And first question will be of 10 mark, and two other questions will be of 15 marks each. The two questions that is of 15 marks each, well, based on income tax and uh, the other 15 mark question will be based on the corporation tax. As far as the 10 mark question is concerned, it might be from the syllabus area of uh, anything can be asked from the whole syllabus. Now, as far as the previous pass rates are concerned, you can see that in December 2019, there was a 49% result. And in September 19, it was 51%. In June, it was 52%. Uh, and in March, it was 46%. So you can see that the average result will be around uh, 47-48%. So this is uh, not a bad result as far as the fundamental paper is concerned. Now, the last thing is that this paper is uh, as this paper is based on the numerical aspects so it's a bit lengthy paper covering so many issues of taxation memorization is one of the biggest hurdle that you can, a student can face they have to memorize the rules related to tax laws and uh, uh, retention is ultimate key in order to pass that question as well as the practice questions the revision kit and the past papers, the key is that the more you practice, the more you learn the rules, the better is that you can pass it in first attempt. So that is a brief intro related to paper TX. Hope, hopefully you will understand basics of uh, this intro. Uh, so thank you for watching this uh, particular video.